hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel karibuni sana if today is your first time on this channel please consider subscribing so today i have another interesting recipe that i'm going to show you i'm going to make guacamole right i hope you have heard of that name guacamole so today i'm going to show you how you can make uh, yummy and tasty guacamole from home so straight to our ingredients i'm going to use avocados there's no guacamole without avocados so this is the main ingredient then you're going to use lime juice or lemon as you wish then uh, we're also going to use tomatoes i'm going to use three tomatoes and i'm also going to use red onions you can also use white onions if you wish i'm also going to use coriander leaves uh, but this is very optional right then I'm also going to use salt in this recipe. So I hope you're going to stay tuned. I hope you're going to like this video and please let us interact in the comment section. We are all learning in this channel. So let's get straight to the process. So I'm going to start by cutting my avocado, right? wow so my avocado is looking nice i'm going to peel the skin always wash your fruits and vegetables before cutting them right So after peeling the avocado, I'm now going to mash my avocado. I'm using my fork to mash the avocado. But if you have a, a masher, you can use it. Also make sure that you get ripe avocados so that it is easy to mash, right? So I will mash it nicely. So at this point, I'm going to cut my red onions into very small portions, right? As I said earlier, you can use white onions or any other onion that you prefer. But I prefer using a red onion always when I'm making my guacamole, right? So after cutting my red onions, I'm going to add them to my avocado, right? And I'm going to continue mashing and mixing everything together, right? Wow. Nice. So next, I'm going to cut uh, our tomatoes, right? Always make sure that uh, you use almost ripe tomatoes, not very ripe, because we don't want our guacamole to have water. So it's good to remove the pulp, right? I will remove the pulp and then I will cut them into very small pieces. So after cutting the tomatoes, I'm also going to add them to my guacamole, right? And I'm going to mix. Remember we have now used avocado, red onions and tomatoes, right? So our guacamole is coming out nicely as you can see it's looking so amazing right so next I'm going to use the lemon so I'm going to slice my lemon then I'm going to squeeze to get some lime juice right Remember the lemon 
acts as a preservative, right? It's also very, very tasty. You can use vinegar instead of lime if you wish. So at this point, I'm going to add in my lemon. I'm sieving it to remove the seeds, right? Wow. I'm also going to add salt at this point. Remember, we had not added salt. We also need salt to taste, right? Fine. Then I'm going to mix my guacamole. Right? It's looking so amazing, right? So we are left with just one ingredient, which is the coriander leaves. Remember I said you can uh, add it or not, depending on your taste. But I'm going to use just a little coriander to make my guacamole complete, right? So I'm going to cut my coriander into very, very small pieces. So this is my last ingredient. I'm adding coriander leaves or parsley if you wish. So I'm going to continue mixing my ingredients together. Wow, it's looking so amazing, right? My guacamole. So amazing, right? So guys, you can serve this with your rice as a side dish. Or you can use it uh, when taking your snack. Or if you are on a diet, you can also take guacamole, right? It's very healthy, as you can see. So this is a very, very simple process. So guys, our guacamole recipe is ready, as you can see. It's looking so amazing, so yummy. It's very easy to make, as you can see. Remember, we use tomatoes, onions, avocado as the main ingredients when we're making this uh, guacamole. So this is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. You can serve guacamole with your favorite dish, right? Or if you are on a diet, this is a very, very healthy so let me show you how you can store your guacamole to last longer in the fridge of course it's a day's meal so after preparing your guacamole you can use this clear aluminium foil or you can use this cling film here to cover your guacamole before storing in the fridge so for me i love using this clear cling film right so you cover it nicely and you are good to go. So this is how you store your guacamole in the fridge, right? So I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.